Mayor Rob Ford breezed past reporters without saying a word. Inside, the mayor took the witness stand, remaining calm and composed as he faced a lengthy cross-examination. Questions focused almost entirely on Rob Ford's understanding of what constitutes conflict of interest, the very charge that could unseat the mayor. Ford continued to deny he did anything wrong when he urged City Council to overturn a ruling that he repay $3,100 in donations to his football foundation from lobbyists before he vote to let himself off the hook. Ford said, I believe in my mind that a conflict of interest, the city benefits or the councillor benefits. It takes two parties to have a conflict. And in this case, I was only one party. The city did not have a conflict. Yet for the first time, Ford admitted if he'd known he risked breaking provincial law, he might have voted differently that day. If someone would have told me I'd be in this situation, I would have listened to the advice I was given and declared a conflict. Later adding, I believe I didn't do anything wrong. Ford's defense is taking a narrow view of the case, arguing the Municipal Conflict of Interest Act does not apply to the issue at hand and that the city had no power to order Ford to repay the questionable donations. Lawyer Clayton Ruby trying to paint a broad picture of a mayor who not only didn't know the rules, but had no interest in following them. The mayor confidently told the court he never attended the orientation session for councillors when first elected, never bothered reading the councillor's handbook or the Municipal Conflict of Interest Act. Despite attempts to focus the case on Ford's actions during his entire elected life, the defense is insistent this case only focus on whether the mayor should have voted and spoken at that February council meeting. If a judge finds Ford in conflict of interest, he will automatically lose his job and could be banned from running again for re-election. And after a long day, proceedings wrapped up just about half an hour ago. Mayor Ford left without saying a word. Lawyers for both parties not saying anything either. Now, this hearing is set to go for two more days. The mayor is, in fact, done in court. The next two days will focus on legal arguments, namely whether or not the mayor made an error in judgment, which may be his best defense for getting off the hook here. Anne? All right, Jackson Prosco, we'll hear again from you later in the program. Thank you.